Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Jian campaign. This is episode 3. We pick it up from turn 17 in the autumn season of 193. Okay, so jumping back into our game, uh, we ended by taking over Nanhai uh, Commandery uh, last turn and it prompted us into the rank of Second Marquis. So we did rank up. We have a few new court positions that we can fill up, uh, most employing the administrator. We're probably not going to take advantage of this chancellor position early on just because uh, if you take a quick look at it what happens is it costs 350 salary increase uh, depending on the current character uh, that you are uh, increasing the position 250 to 350 it's just very expensive and the only bonus we get back is 15 percent peasantry income so to make it worthwhile uh, it's going to be uh, requiring us to have a very large base peasantry income which we don't have uh, and we also uh, play don't have um, the character that really requires it at this point in terms of their satisfaction boost since it will remove any desire for higher office until rank 8. Uh, we do have a level up here on Chen Pu. Now Chen Pu is currently on the battlefield with us and looking at his traits he doesn't have any good administrative traits although he already has the two good administrative skills. I feel like we should actually set him up for battle. Uh, we should probably go for tenacity of steel quickly and then probably aim for zeal or alternatively we can ignore his own combat capability and just go for you know night battle for his army and extra range damage if he go for range units his cunning stat is not terrible and because he already has scholarship he gets eight more points so we could set him up for a range build Hmm, it's debatable here. This doesn't actually do much right now. Maybe we'll give him the range build early on just because um, archer militia is just cheaper. And the mercenary archers are also cheaper. So I think maybe we go here first. And then here. It's debatable. Um, let's see. We basically have to get all the administrative duty out. Now the administrator I have pretty much set that we're going to put it in Changsha. The reason is we need the defensive force. This is our contact point with the rest of the world and where people will come attack us. So uh, unlike past games where we have put Taishi Tsi here, uh, this time he will actually be on the battle quite a bit. And it also helps that he's level 4, so he will get the full benefit of no desire for uh, office. Uh, let's take a look at him actually. So he's 27, he's 46 satisfaction, currently minus 18 for desire for higher core position, that will go away. His lack of purpose will go away because he will have a position, uh, so all of those are good things. Uh, we'll give him extra expertise to give discounts to build up, um, since we are going to be holding on to that uh, commandery. We're not going to depart south because it seems like we can beat them back. And we're going to build him right by removing a few of these items that could help him on his job. And is there any 10% commerce uh, for uh, peasantry? That's very, very good. That's exactly what we want because we are trying to fill up our peasantry. Now, it is sad that she will lose 8 points of authority here. But we could also shuffle things around for her as well. Income is still very important. And he has this 40% for commerce. And we're not going to waste uh, this skill point here, uh, the 15% for industry, because we're not going to build any industry income in this commandery. We're going to be focused on peasantry, and that's it. Uh, in terms of his traits, Defiant is very good, because you cause increased 5% attrition to hostile forces. So overall, he's going to be excellent here. Uh, and most importantly, he's going to bring his full retinue with him into any future conflict in this commandery and the fact that he starts out with hail of arrow means we are pretty much going to defend this commandery without any issue so there he goes confirm uh and we're going to have this finish building soon all right we're going to upgrade this pretty much we have one new assignment slot and we're going to decide who's gonna do what here probably another commerce boost down here just because it has the harbor building we don't want the marketplace so or market wharf we're gonna get rid of it uh, probably 
tax collection here. We're probably missing a uh, commander just so that we can do more tax collection, 50% peasantry boost. All right, we did get a bunch of good stuff here. Hold on, this will take a little bit of time. Plus six expertise, so we can shuffle him for this. This is more of a combat armor. And then we can let Lady Wu wear this, which increases her authority back to plus six. She lost both of her items. A little sad, but for the best. Okay. So this group here just took the commandery. We are going to recall these two fellows to heal. Now, it is going to be expensive to uh, get these two commanderies. Uh, it's going to cost us 8,000. We don't really have that money. So instead, I think we're going to inch over here and get Cang Wu. I'm going to count on the fact that the fog of war is very abu like very you know, oppressive in the game, where you don't see across the Pearl River. So even if we get this, as long as Shi Jie's army doesn't like sail down, we won't see him. And then we don't have to declare war on him. So we can develop this as the best peasantry commandery in the game. As you can see, uh, livestock farm, lumber yard, both peasantry counties here, uh, extra food production. Uh, Nanhai is also very good. Livestock farm for peasantry and trade port for commerce. Uh, there's a lot of synergies between these two. It's underrated. Uh, because if you look at the highest tier of land development, if you go here in the livestock market of the commandery capital, you get additional 20% uh, income boost from commerce. So there's some synergies between peasantry and commerce. And the fact that if you go tall with the settlement administrator here, uh, you also get a flat uh, commerce percentage boost and a flat peasantry boost. So there's a lot of building that cross over between these two. And as we mentioned before, Sun Jian's faction get a unique boost that other faction don't get because they're uh, level five uh, mark, uh, commerce harbor buildings. This one right here gives you 25% income from commerce faction wide. That's huge because every harbor you have, uh, this is stackable. So this is kind of insane. Boost is 25% in all commanderies faction wide. And I believe it's the same case. Um, oh, actually, no. It's just harbor buildings. It's not the trade port. So definitely get all these uh, harbor commanderies like Changwu, Nanhai, and some of the other ones that are on the coastline. Very, very important for Sun Jian's faction. All right, let's turn our attention back to our capital here. We're still playing defense. No doubt a new army will come very soon. Um... I feel like the best thing to do now is actually just to put the assignment down south, even though it's not a lot of income. He can still gain level here by boosting 75% of 40. We get 30 gold extra here. And that might be all we can do. We don't have the gold to upgrade these. We could consider not upgrading this. Because it costs a quite 2,600 gold to go up 100 income per turn. It's not too bad. 26 turn payout is not too bad. All right, we're just going to have to wait for more battles to uh, gain uh, some of the income that we need. We can give our strategist horse over here. Cunning for him. Alright. And I think that might be it. We have a spy position available, but we're not rich enough to take a spy mission. We just have to uh, take a look here. No factions not at war with us, so we're good here. Let's just continue. I believe we did everything. All right, new turn, master of trade. We got a Anzuri item, probably a merchant or a trader. Let's see, what do we get? Oh no, classic of filial piety. So if we have a philosopher, it would be even better because this item combos very well with the philosopher. Um, let's see, he's plus 
49. He should be okay. We'll give this to Lu Su. Um, as you can see, there's a orator set uh, combo with the Philosopher that gives plus 4 public order faction-wide, and the Philosopher itself gives plus 10 satisfaction faction-wide. So it's definitely a very, very good item if you can combo it. Maybe we'll get a Philosopher down the line. Who knows? It's a possibility. And we have one new character in court. Uh, village chief, not very interested. Unbreakable. Hmm. Interesting. But I'm going to pass on him unless he's carrying, you know, some amazing items, uh, which he's not. Now, speaking of champions, uh, we have so many in our pool right now. Um, let's see. We have a little bit of extra gold. We're going to put Lady Wu back into action here. This is where we have most of our peasantry income at the current state. And we're going to spend our money here. Now, I know keeping it at a large town is beneficial in terms of being sieged. But now that we have Tai Shi Tzu guarding it and this army here, I feel like we can't afford to upgrade it to a small city um, and just fight proper fights on the battlefield. And the fact that once we upgrade, we can start investing in the reform here uh, to boost this to level 3 and get more free income. So, let's take this. Uh, and plus, we can build free buildings here, so the money is not going to disable us going forward. Alright, we're going to try to go towards Tangwu. I'm not interested in the rice paddy. The harbor's two food is going to be enough to support the small city for now. Hmm, it's going to be tricky. We're going to be careful here. I don't want to run into um, any, um, what do you call it? Shri CS faction, because we're getting vision as we walk. we got to be very careful here. Alright, we're going to recruit back the two old guys here. See, they're not old. They're drawn, kind of like, uh, especially Huang Gai. This is CA's drawing, right? This is the official model. He's drawn as he is serving Sun Quan, perhaps during the Battle of Chibi in the year like 208, so about uh, 15 years down the line. But he starts out the game at 36, but the model is already kind of old. Uh, same thing with Chen Po, they're the same age actually. So it's kind of funny to see these two old men being just uh, under 40, so not that old yet. Um, yeah, I think our court's pretty happy. Uh, we can't do very much. I don't see any enemies. We just have to check. We don't see any new factions either. Let's continue. And look who's back. Liu Biao. Same army. Uh, barely replenished. Like, very, very weak. I mean, we're in ambush, so they technically don't see how strong our force is. Uh, but they should know that we have a administrator. Uh, just that by itself means they can't really touch us. But they can feel free to come. And down here, we're gonna take it slow. No one has reach, right? Yeah, Huang Gai is close, but not there yet. We're gonna take this loopy mountain road into Changwu. Uh, we could march because we're not gonna replenish in enemy territory anyways. This is risky. Well, this is still High Empire. Okay, so... Hmm, maybe we'll take the shortcut. Actually, maybe this isn't a shortcut after all. Maybe that's actually still the same distance. Maybe taking the road is better. Alright, they're on their way. We have a new reform. It's spring again. Um, let's see. What do we want here? Eventually we want this, so maybe we should take this now. Because we're going to get our settlement upgrade done. But then we have an empty slot. So this can actually wait till next spring because it's not going to bring too much benefit for us now. The public order is actually going to slow down our rebellion spawning. Um, I think we should just commit here. We need a government support to unlock this. Hmm. Let's take this. Let's 
go for this. I think maybe it's still better. It will make us quite strong. And we can also take this for another set of deployables. Yeah, let's get the replenishment up first. It's going to be a lot of battling. And, yep, all our commanderies are fine. All our armies are fine. Just got to check this, and we're good to go. Alrighty. Um, yellow turban rebellions have been destroyed. Don't worry, they'll be back. And Lobel is also fighting against Yuan Shu, asking his vassals to help him. We'll get a pick between direct or distinguished. Oh, I like direct much better here. Yep. So direct. Feather fan. Um, let's see. Oh no, he leveled up. It's only going to make him uh, desire office a little bit more. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to get flaming shot. Now, who would like a fan? We'll let him hold on to one, because he's at um, 39 point satisfaction already. Oh, Zhong Xuan is back. We saw him earlier. Guess someone took him and dumped him again. Or maybe no one took him. Uh, we're not going to take him. He's 63. I think the last time he showed up, he was 60. Oh, 60. He's 66 now. The last time he showed up was 63. Alright, Liu Bell is here on March. I mean, we can just go crush him right now. And we can control Liu, uh, Liu Qi's death again. Mm, I think we're going to do that um, just because we don't want to kill Liu Qi. I can, I can show you guys how difficult it is to fight a fight where we can't kill the enemy general. Alright. Let's attack two turns. No defender, please. No defender, please. Okay, good. So we should be able to delegate that win, just like we delegated the win here. All right, let's upgrade the peasantry income here. Three turns. And what about this? One turn. Okay. So let's take this fight. I do appreciate the chance they're giving us to take their items because so far we haven't taken anything from them yet. Alright, um, let's fight this. Um, we'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright, uh, we're loaded in here. Um, I don't like how much forest there are. And we can't really... I guess we can back off to here just to let our tribuches have more firing space. Yeah, let's do that actually. Yeah, this way we can start hitting them once they exit the tree line and then we'll do something about this. Uh, if we're really ambitious, we can set up our uh, spear guards in ambush in the forest, but might be too ambitious. Alrighty. We can hide this unit in the forest, though. Not dueling. We do get nice deployables. The more, the merrier. We're going to put him right on the side here. Um, usually units don't walk this way, and they'll continue to shoot them as they enter this zone. And I believe the cavalries are going to... How many cavalry do they even have? Just one? Uh, maybe a couple, but on, on the flank over here. Um, hmm. Let's see. How would they approach us? I'm guessing over here. We'll just put the spikes randomly here. And we'll burn the forest here when they enter. And that's good. Let's continue. Now, what we want to do is route them and not kill them. There's tons of benefits of keeping the army on the field. Uh, it will give us minus 8 public order because of enemy hostile forces uh, in the region. 
uh, which will speed up our rebellion spawning, which provides extra income. Fighting them provides extra income. Keeping them on the field uh, keeps one extra army slot for the enemies, so they can't uh, recruit a fresh army from home. Uh, the only thing I don't want to happen is I don't want you to kill Liu Qi. Liu Qi doesn't have resiliency, so we don't want him to die here. Now, I could have manually fired these, uh, but it's fine. We'll see where they go. I want to kill the infantry of Jin, of course. Those are the scariest unit there. All right, three times speed is running out of our ammo really, really fast. Hold on. I do want to. Liu Bao and Huang Gai, Huang Huang Zhong can die because um, they are resilient, so they're gonna come back anyways. And Liu Qi heals uh, because his dad just got taken out on the battlefield. Now it's time to light up, light up this fire right here, please. All right, we lit that up. Shoot at the crossbowmen. Let's see if they will run into our setup here. Uh, did they? Oh, they did. A little bit. We got three of them. Not, not, a, not a bad prediction. Alright. We're going to take them on a run with us. We're not really interested in fighting their cavalry. We are interested in blocking their cavalry. We don't want to fight all four, but we can. We're stronger than they are. All right, let's get them running over. The tower can keep shooting at them. All right, our main concern is still over the, on the front. All right, we're good. We'll run to the tower. They shouldn't be able to catch us because they should be more tired considering they ran from all the way over there. I don't like how their archers are getting free shots on us. Alright, I don't think their cavalry is ever coming. Now it'd be great if we could dismount the enemy. Oh, we had all oh, right. We got the new reform, but we didn't use it. Can you guys? Can you run? Can you run into us, please? No, he's not interested. Yep, that's how we lost a lot of units last time. So we gotta pay attention here. He has yet. Yeah, he has a very nice splash attack. Right. We need to lower his morale. But not oh there goes that unit. Oh bad micro. Alright, but we can kill them. We have splash basic attacks. Which is super underrated. It's not it's probably not as good against cavalry, but it's definitely very good against infantry. Super glad we got Luger in this campaign. Kill their captain here. Actually, we should go for the weakest unit. It's always about routing them one by one. There we go. Once one route, we go for another one who has weak morale. And then once they route... And then we go for another one. Yep, and that's how you win. Ooh, that's the city on the side. There's Changsha. Alright, Liu Qi's routing. Stop chasing. This is the key. Don't kill him. Alright, see, we take losses to keep him alive. 
Alrighty. We beat them back again. Third fight with them now. And to keep this boy alive, we have to let him kill 118 of our guys. And we capture him for the third time, and we're gonna release him for the third time. And we're gonna take this nice income. That's what we really want here. And, like I said, we're gonna keep them on the map. So, we're gonna go back. And just ambush ourselves again. Now, we didn't get any items out of that fight again. They recalled Liu Biao's army, so that's interesting. So he's where all the items are. He has Huang Zhong's bow. And uh, we moved our armies. I think we put all the build orders in. It's time to check and go to next turn. Our income is bouncing up nicely. Let's continue. Alright, new turn. Um, they're still hanging out, which is great. Because like I said, local force minus 8 points for them being in our commandery helps speed up our rebel farming. Ooh, 3 strategies of Duke of Yellow Rock. Excellent item. Especially since we stripped her of her uh, rights of Zhou. Uh, but this is much more uh, relevant for her because this does provide a... Uh, air position bonus of 5% income from all source. So that's a great item for her. Now we haven't gotten any armor yet, but I think we will get some soon. If we have the money, uh, we also need an artisan. So maybe level 2 is where we can have it for now. Now let's hope we win this delegate fight. We should. Alright, perfect. Alright, we picked up our third commandery here. Let's occupy. Now, do we see any... Okay, we don't. Good. Okay, so we're, we're close. Uh, the High Empire holds the coast right now, so as long as uh, Shizia's faction doesn't betray the High Empire, we shouldn't see them uh, for a while. Now, it's also nice that all these commanderies, except for the livestock farm, has been claimed already. So we're definitely going to grab ourselves the lumberyard and uh, pulley the rice paddy and lumberyard here as well, and the town here. So we'll basically expand our territory into this region. Uh, Nanhai will probably just have to wait a little bit uh, to get attention. Right now, there will just be a very simple food commandery with two food and a little bit of commerce. Now this also has a harbor building, but it doesn't have anything built, but it comes with a level 2 uh, government support. This is going to help us a lot for reforms, um, even though we're kind of like undecided between the red line, the green line, and the yellow line right now, but eventually this will be very helpful. So we're going to build this first to get a little bit extra food production. Uh, do we get any items for winning that fight at that commandery? No. Uh, do we need to heal anyone? Yes, the two old men here needs to be healed every fight. They're just not yet strong enough. And we're going to use the same movement uh, idea here. Uh, we could do... Huh, we could actually do something even more interesting. So we can pick a cheap general. Uh, let's say him. Since, well, actually him, since he's a little bit sadder. We can confirm, get rid of his retinue, we can heal Sun Jian as well. Uh, he does get movement, it's not going to help us too much because we have to stay in our side or else we can't recruit uh, next turn. But we can use him as our lead, summon the three of them, or summon two, recall him, summon the third one and get a nice move starting next turn with all three generals healthy. Alright, that's pretty much all we can do at this point. We did get a nice money boost, but we are reform stuck here. This is pretty happy it being level 3. Yep, and that's all we can do. Uh, the yellow turbans are gone, so we're one less uh, faction here. Let's continue. Alright, so far so good. Uh, Liu Yan declare war on Dong Min, sure. 
Oh, we got ourselves a commander. 41 year old, could be a spy. Yuan Shu, probably a spy. All right, we're gonna pass on her, even though I kind of want another peasantry boost. All right, the army's gone, so we're only minus three now, which is a little sad. And over here, we're gonna recruit Sun Jian, Chen Pu. Recall. All right, next turn we'll get it. There's no defending army here. Um, now our income is doing pretty well. I feel like what we want to do here, since now we have a little bit of money, oh, we don't have a slot. I want to put Sun Tzu on the battlefield so that he can start gaining a few levels. Because I definitely want to develop him a little bit. Devastating Roar is not bad. You can use it twice, and minus 50 morale is very efficient. Uh, it's not as strong as Zhang Fei's Roar, minus 100, but you can only use that one once. So technically this could be even more effective in battle if you could use it twice. Uh, Blood Fury, this is a little bit, you know, hit or miss because of the Berserk effect, where you lose control of him. Um, it just make, the, make him bloodthirsty as he fight. It's kind of what, you know, his kind of temperament that really got him killed in history. Um, but we're definitely getting this. Um, so eventually we'll put him out maybe next turn. And uh, we don't have much to do here. We're doing fine. Wait, why did they not move their full distance? Or is it just because they have low supply? Uh, it's just because they have low supply. That's not a big issue. And we don't see any new factions, so life is good. Continue. All right, we finally got an armor from our armor smith. Let's see how good the armor is. Oh, and we got a horse. Okay, the armor is decent. Uh, it's good on champions, and we do have one on the battlefield right now, so we're going to give it to him. And the horse... Oh, Lady Wu already has a good horse. And Sun Jian already has a good horse. So this is authority horse. He has a cunning horse. He has an instinct horse. Wait, what does Huang Gai have? A better instinct horse. We have a lot of horses, it seems. I think he can take it since he's actually on the battlefield. Too bad we don't have any weapon. Alright, anyways. Let's take this. Alrighty, so what level is the Lumber Air? Level 2? Not too bad. Um, I want to upgrade this because the 2 food is self-sufficient. We can get another building slot for land development. So let's build this. Six turns. Uh, ideally, we want an administrator here, but we just don't have one right now. And we need the one for defense over there. Mm. Yeah, let's use the same trick. It does work very, very well. And we'll move him to the edge of the border here so they can go take the rice paddy next turn. Uh, stay on our side, please. I guess this is kind of the limit, but that's fine. Uh, that way they can get to the rice paddy, lumber yard, large town, rice paddy for us just to connect our territory. And guess who's back? Ooh. Oh my god. Quite uh, Okay, so he's he's the strategist that came up with the awesome ambush plan that killed us in history. So if we get a chance, off with his head. Okay, guys? Off with his head. Uh, this time he didn't bring his son and... Um, uh, Huang Zhong, so the army is a little weaker since I think their relationship is non-existent. They can't see because we never fought them. But we fought him. We want his items. So he can definitely come again. And isn't he busy fighting Yuan Shu? I think he is, but he's definitely focusing all his energy on us. We finally got this level up. Um, even though the commander is peasantry, com uh, the commerce commandery, we're just going to do peasantry. 
That's just the strategy we had in mind from the beginning. And we're going to stick to that. And that's fine. Uh, not high. We're going to upgrade this for extra food and commerce. Um, we can't, I don't know, we can't, we don't have enough food to get all three to a small city yet. So we're going to sacrifice not high just because we don't have the counties. All right, so things look great. We do have extra deployment this turn. Now, they don't get along. Ah, oh, Lu Zhi and Sun Ce. Hmm. They do get along with Zhou Tai. Maybe we get Zhou Tai working here. Yeah, let's do that. I just want him on the field but he doesn't have resiliency that's another issue all right i think eventually what i'm gonna do is actually just summon him to farm rebels maybe in nanhai or in Changwu. i think that's probably the best way to do it okay uh we'll keep him on our roster for now quick check all good let's continue all right, Liu Chong and Yuan Shu peaced out. Sun Ce gained energetic while sitting on the bench. That's awkward. Maybe he's, you know, amped up for a fight. Now they're coming around the same place. I don't like how forested it was last time, so we're going to let him get closer, especially since he has more, uh, you know, better units than last fight. So we're going to let him actually crash into our ambush or the city itself. Both are fine. Uh, we're going to be building this up first, I believe. I don't really want to focus on the... Hmm, we had tea. Hmm. It's debatable. You know what? We're going to save money. Even though we can take this reform right now, we're going to take this. Because we actually have small cities now. And then we're going to upgrade the free version. Ooh. Ooh. He's the faction leader, so we can't... We can't recruit him. We can't, like, employ him and capture him. I don't think he's going to be aggressive towards commanderies. Hopefully not. But he also has Lodra's unique units. That's, that'd be really good if we could get him, but I doubt we can. He's probably just going to another commander to defend. So which means we have to hurry here. Now we could also, you know, add our son to this army, but I feel like we want to get Huang Gai and uh, Chen Pu's level up as well. And they've been working well together, so I think they've been developing a relationship with each other. It's Oathworn. Oathworn, so yeah, they're the highest tier already, so that's good. Assuming no garrison. Yep, no garrison. Perfect. Alright, now our food situation is a little bit better. Ooh. Ah, Zhu Jun. Okay, so Zhu Jun, Huang Fu Song, Lu Zhi are the three generals who fought the yellow turbans, and they're all here. Look at this triangle. Um, go heal. Go heal. So I guess we'll go for the Lumberyard. Because that's definitely not beatable with this army. We might need a real army to take the rest over here. What's our army cap? Four armies? Okay. So we don't have any more slots. Which also means we probably want to invest in a conscription building somewhere. But I'm not sure where yet. How do we get here? Okay, so you eventually want to go here. Uh, but stay inside for extra military supplies. Alright, we'll just let them crash into us. Alright, all the buildings are going. Good, we haven't seen anyone new yet. Let's continue. All right, we got a loyalty event. Uh, just extra satisfaction on Lady Wu, wonderful. Uh, we have rebels coming out in Changsha, which is fine because we have an army nearby. 
Um, speaking of armies nearby, they shifted to the side. I don't want them to get into the interior, so we do have to fight them now. Um, but first... Alright, they're just standing here. That's fine. This is not really a path. This is just through the trees. Alright, we'll be able to grab this. And... We do have an extra... Slot if we want to recruit someone. But I think we'll pass. Yeah, I think we'll pass. I think we'll just fight them. Alright, let's fight Liu Bao for the fourth time here. Now, can we somehow build a right angle here so we can fight them in this opening? I don't know how the map does it, but less tree the better. Let's try it. Right, this way it kind of looks like we're in an opening. Let's see if it works out that way. Mm, yeah, it's a tougher fight with all these uh, infantry of Jin. These are tough. Um, let's go. Alrighty, uh, it is a little more open. I guess that worked out. Um, it is raining though, which kind of sucks for our flaming shots, but that's fine too. We do have this nice opening to work with, which I really appreciate. Maybe that little bit of maneuvering did help us out there. And let's get these guys in front. Pretty simple deployment. We don't have much of an army to speak of, so it's not like we can get super fancy here. Now we'll hide these guys on the side. We're going to pop them over here just to get continuous shot on the enemy. Seems like cavalry can come from two fronts. We're going to just guard this front with this. Uh, we should double up. The thicker it is, the better. Because each one can only knock out one cavalry. And we'll just put the fire kind of kind of here. Uh, not dueling. Alright, Cho in the back. Let's go. Alright, they're going to take their stroll over. Alright, we should hurry this part up. They are taking their sweet time in the ring. Alright, we're going to lose vision in the forest. Now let's see if they have any... He still has that really good bow. Hmm. Let's get a shot over here. Now we're not missing as badly as before because we're ranked level 4 now. But we're just hoping for a miss. Overshoot something, please. Ah, so close. It's okay. Next shot should get them. Oh, there we go. Perfect. See, that ability isn't going to save you from rocks. Wow. Angry Liu Bell. Alright, we're just going to follow these guys wherever they go, because that's all we really have to kill here. Because we can't kill them with our archers. Matter of fact, in this army comp that they have, our archers can't kill anything. We can't kill the melee calves, we can't kill the infantry of Zin, we can't kill the saber. We can only kill their archers, which is really, really sad. Alright, but we did get a couple good shots on this cluster. Depending on how they want to move. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, kind of just whiffed. They kind of backed off. We'll let them group up a little bit. Our tower is doing work. 
we still have cavalry, so once they collapse on our front line, we can use our cavalry to clean up on the infantry of Jin. They only have one archer unit. We also have zero burn officers so far, which is a little sad. Alright, let's see if we can get them with this shot here. Okay. Where's the other seven fireballs? There we go. Okay, great shot. Alright, we gotta kill these. Alright, Liu Bell's starting to shoot at us. Get him back. Now, is there any chance we can preamp a shot here? We're gonna let them reload, and then we can get a pretty instantaneous shot here. They have to twist and fire. Ah, a little short. Ooh, there we go. What about the other other five shots, guys? Fire? There you go. Ah, missed. Okay, we're going to let them fire Will for a little bit. We do have to switch over some of this defensive posturing. They're good. They should be good. I don't know how far they're going to pull the flank. Maybe we'll pull them back. Oh, they found them again. Alright, it's going to be another. Alright, we'll collapse. Alright, we need to hit these guys. Alright, archers, fire at these guys. You can actually kill them. Where's the... Oh, he pulled the other unit back. Alright, so pull back to the front. Pull back to the front. Alright, just stay engaged with them. Alright, get them. Kill them. Alright, we have... We keep forget. Wait, how come they can't throw... Right, they don't have access to cow traps. That's not fair. Right, these units don't have access to that. Hmm. This is a bug. Alright, can we pull them back a little? Try to hit that. Not microing very well here. Please turn white. Run back. Run back. Alright, we can't hit them anymore. Hit them, please. Fight. Flank. Alright, go save our archers. Shoot. Oh, no, 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 Where's our cavalry stick on these guys? Let's see if we can shoot them down before they get close. Alright, archers flip. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. We'll use the generals to fight off the cavalry. Now we're good. We're good. Yeah. Let's reduce their morale a little bit. Go into melee. Did we beat him back? Alright, let's stick on that guy. Come over here. Actually, get them. Shoot at them. Alright, they turn white. Engage. Engage. Alright, let's reduce his morale down a little bit. No one's unbreakable. Alright, got that. Where's our generals? Over chased a little bit. Come back. Alright, collapse. Get his health down, please. Now, at least he doesn't have Liu Qi's ability to smash the ground and kill a bunch of our units. Alright, he's routing. Liu Bell, please route. Alright, 
Shoot at... No, I can't reach him. Shoot at them. How is he still alive? Alright, you go smack him a little bit. He's not taking, like, any damage. Maybe we'll go for him. We'll let the general take him. Alright, go shoot at them. Three, go team up on him. Whack him a few times so that he knows to go back. Alright, now they're routing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Is it just Liu Bao left? Okay. We win. Pull it out. Don't want to kill anyone. There we go. We're gentle monsters. Alright. So, that's what, fifth time? Just doesn't learn. Oh, they even designed the shatter flags. That's very neat. We finally got an item. Four men. Very, very good item. Okay. Releasing for income. We didn't get the strategist, but we get extra income. Ah, they're the source of our money here. Alright, we're going to run back into the city for now. Got to recruit a little bit. Uh, we can design our army a little bit differently since our main foe is infantry of Jin. Perhaps we want some axemen. Now the foreman is an excellent item. Uh, not going to be relevant right now because the builder is going to be better for us. But eventually it's going to be uh, very useful. So I think we can take one more turn, grab the lumberyard. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting rebels next turn as well, so some more income from that. Uh, things are looking pretty good. We're starting to get a little bit of territory in the south. Uh, let's continue here. All right, new turn. Uh, got a guarantee of autonomy, not independence yet. Same thing here. He's getting weaker. That's why he's losing control. Uh, that's what you get for fighting us. Oh, we definitely want cunning. The more ammo, the better. Oh, Zhuang's uh, retinue upkeep discount. That is very, very nice. I think he can take that instead. Uh, and this book can go on... Huh. Maybe our son can read a little. Uh, actually, him. There we go. So we do have a couple fight here that we could take. We can let them, you know, stay here. We're going to kill these guys. We do have an item here. Adapt. Okay, not bad. We can try to get that item. Uh, but we're probably going to fight that at the beginning of next episode. All I want to do here to end our episode is to take the lumber yard. Oh, come on. Close defeat. No way. Um, because three spears. I think that's why. Every time there's three spears, they think we can't beat them. Um, is it also because it's a defensive map? I'm curious. Yep. So. Let's outmaneuver them. Alrighty. So, what we have to do is basically trick them and uh, find a way into this place. Capture the flag, reduce their morale, crash them from behind. You know, simple stuff. Simple stuff. Um, so Sun Jian is clearly our main offensive weapon against this army. We have to slip him in without taking too much arrow damage. I'm trying to find a door that's the easiest to access. I think this one might be the easiest to slip inside. Just because we can avoid this fire entirely by slipping along this side. Use the forest as our cover. All right, we can enter through here into the forest, walk this way, get inside. We just have to make sure they aren't defending this doorway. So we're going to put our other two general in a visible st spot over here. Uh, first, we've got to make sure he's hidden. Hidden? Hidden? All these trees and not can't hide him? There we go. All right. And deployable is not useful. 
Uh, there's no cavalry to kill or anything to trick to come out. So we're going to have them show here, get their defenses all built up here, send Sun Jian through the back door, capture this flag, and then hit them from the rear. Uh, that's our plan, I guess. Maybe something like this. Let's go. All right, so they're all deployed over here. Uh, if it comes down to it, we can use Huang Gai as a sacrificial lamb because he does have uh, Oath Thorn uh, and he does have resiliency, so we can have him die to heal Sun Jian. All right, so if we slip through the trees here, the tower is not going to be able to hit us. And we can just easily... Oh, we're getting shot, but it's missing. We're easily going to slip in. There we go. Capture this. And then go capture this. Uh, they're going to send a couple guys back. Or all of them back. If that's the case, we're going to rush for the gates here. At the same time. Uh, Sun Jian can take it slow. But we don't want to get overwhelmed. They will shoot us. Because there's no other unit. So there's no reason to not shoot at generals. Now there's probably spear units all over here. We just don't see them because we're on the lower elevation. Yep. That's fine. We just want to capture this point. We're going to hold this point. Let them charge at us. And then... We're going to kill them pretty easily. Now we do want to get into the thick of things so we can smash the ground and kill some people. But right now I don't think we need to do that. We're capturing as we speak. One unit isn't going to stop us. Alright, we're in. We're in. We just got to get in completely. And we don't want to charge into any spear unit and lose our mount. So we're just going to loop around them and charge into the archers. Oh, we're getting surrounded. That's what we want. Time to smash the ground. Can we smash? Anytime. Anytime. There we go. Alright, their morale. So we, we want cooldown. We want cooldown. We're going to go join the fight with them. Uh, we are almost dying. It's okay. We got resiliency. Once we get our cooldown back, we can smash them and we can win easily. All right, it's going well. All right, cooldown's back. Let's go here. Hold on, slow down. We'll let them rush at us. They're not braced. And once we're in the middle, smash the ground again. Oh, zoomed out too far. All right, now we're going to back off a little bit. Charge again. Alright, we win. We just have to sacrifice all his health, but having this ability makes a big difference. Alright, claim victory here. Alright. So that's a nice end to the episode. We created this little empire for ourselves in the south. Uh, we have a nice level up on Huang Gai as well. So if we look at the map here. You know, we expanded quite deep and uh, we're picking off Han Empire factions as we speak. And we're going to build ourselves a nice economy in the south and a very nice safe border here in the south as well. Pick up all these harbor commanderies as we go up and then eventually we'll claim everything south of the Yangtze River, much like in history, including parts of, you know, the Shu lands that we need. And then we'll probably expand west. That's my plan. Uh, go west all the way to the northwest and uh, choke them off here in the Hanzhou mountain path and defend the coast here and then slowly go into the central plains so since we're playing this as total war i don't think we can take a abdicate i'm not sure how that works which is going to have to kill off every faction on the map uh, the hard way so it should be pretty fun going forward hope you guys enjoy this episode and see you all next time bye <laughs>